Welcome back to beginningdeveloper.com. You might currently be working in a Java application that does not utilize Maven. Well, with Eclipse, you can convert an already existing project into a Maven project really simply. Let's go ahead and see how that's done. For time's sake in this video, I found an open source project that I could import into Eclipse. Uh, it's just a simple library application. I don't know much more than, than that, uh, but it'll serve the purpose because it does have a few classes and a few dependencies and things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, it's actually really simple to convert a um, simple Java application or even a complex Java application uh, into a Mavenized uh, Java application. You will right click and down the second to the end, you'll see configuration. And on there, you'll see convert to Maven project. Click it the wizard will appear. Um, all the things that the palm will need to need for generation will be right here. So uh, we've already went over this in previous videos, so I'm just going to kind of go through this kind of quick. Uh, my group ID, um, artifact DD, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it as library because it's not my application. Um, we're going to go ahead and since it's still in development, keep it as a snapshot, but we're going to bump it up to version one. It is a jar and that's all we're going to do for that. This will generate the palm and the package structure needed for the Maven project. Notice how you see here, uh, it has added the extra folders. We have our bin and target and our palm, which has currently been generated and, and displaying right now. I don't really like the uh, user interface version, so I'm, I'm more custom to the XML. And as you can see here, everything we just filled out is on there. Um, we have our group, our artifact version, and everything. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, we're going to go ahead and run it so uh, that we can make sure that it's still working, that uh, just we didn't just move things around. So we're going to go ahead and right click. We're going to go ahead and run as and Maven install. This will uh, go ahead and generate anything that is needed uh, as far as dependencies. We do have a failure, so let's go ahead and see what that failure is. I always start with my uh, topmost failure and work my way down. So fail to execute goal Maven and project compilation failure no comp no compilers provided perhaps you're running a JRE rather than a JDK okay so that's simply saying that I'm not building with the uh, correct uh, JDK so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to we, I right click the project go to properties underneath the Java compiler we're going to go ahead and go to configure nope uh, Java build path there we go uh, it's looking at 1.8. Should be the right one. Let's go ahead and run as and Maven clean. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that there's there's no other dependencies from the previous build. I, I mean, I imported the project, so I really have no idea. And let's go ahead and run as, do a Maven install one more time. And that's building everything from scratch now. And there we go, we have a success. So we should be able to run this as a, as a simple Java application now. So run Java application. It's gonna scan everything inside the, the directory. Yep, and I believe, I'm gonna go ahead and do the admin login. There we go, and it started up for us. So uh, the cool thing about this is, is that this application was, I mean, I had not even touched the code whatsoever. I had no idea what to expect, hence why we uh, uh, did get some errors that we had to resolve. But uh, that was just simply my mistake for not cleaning it. Um, some of the things that I want to draw your attention to is when converting this application from a simple Java application to a Maven application, there might be some issues. Uh, normally those issues are dependency issues. Those can be resolved really simply by just adding the dependencies here inside the palm. Uh, notice how you have a plugins here and you have a resource. You also have to have another one that's for dependencies and then add any dependencies there. Uh, you can use the Maven repository to find a specific dependency and also its version. For instance, uh, I noticed that this is using a uh, SQL database. If I wanted to switch to using a different database like Postgres or MySQL or uh, even MongoDB, I would find those dependencies on the Maven repository and then I can simply convert this application into using that database. Now that's outside the scope of this video so I think that's pretty much uh, good to go. Uh, if you have any other questions, concerns, or you just need help, shoot a comment down uh, at the bottom and I'll, I'll make sure to get back with you. Uh, always thanks for watching.